total in excess of 450. It appears to be a strong batting side on another good day tomorrow. And uh, Sri Lanka in a position of disadvantage. England may be looking to a sizable first innings total from where they can pressurize the Sri Lankans. Sri Lankans on their part will have to take one or two quick wickets, preferably in the first hour, to put England under some sort of pressure and get back into this game. So it's going to be quite an important one. Conditions ideal and welcome to highlights. Sri Lankans expected to tighten up. We pick up play in the first delivery and it's uh, Ramanaika bowling to the England captain. Oh, well played. You can't start a day's play in better fashion as it happened yesterday. The same bowler being hit by Robin Smith. The fifth boundary for Alex Stewart. Overpitching, and that's what happens when you overpitch on a perfect batting track. It's a long chase for the Sri Lankan captain, but he won't get to it. Ten runs coming off the first over. Pretty expensive one. Got the ball in the middle of the bat, and as he played through the line, the ball did the rest on this fast outfield. Hathru Singer to Stewart. Outside edge, but there's no fielder at gully. And a third man, so it's a boundary for Alex Stewart, playing that ball somewhat away from his body. Seven boundaries to him so far. Murli Dharan. To Smith. But that ball kept low and he played over it. Not very far away from the off stump. Murli Dharan to Smith. Oh, well played. Playing it through. Coming forward, so he's not afraid to hit the ball. And that's his uh, eighth test century and the first away from home. Splendid knock coming up in 390 minutes of batting of 292 deliveries, 45 scoring strokes, and with his 15th boundary. Hathur Singer. Smith in control there. Splendid stroke through cover. You cannot bowl to Smith when he's in such fine form, having made a century right into the gap. The Sri Lankan captain bringing himself on. Oh, splendidly off driven, and that will be four. Over pitching to his uh, England uh, opponent. And captain, he would have been absolutely delighted. Neatly played. Hathru Singh on the fielder. Running well to complete two. A good pick up and throw. But the batsman beat that throw as it came into Ashley De Silva. Had it been full, it would have been good, but the silver also fumbling. So that's Alex Stewart's eighth uh, test half century, coming in 137 minutes of batting, 20 scoring strokes, 89 balls, and having hit nine boundaries. Sanat Jayasurya. Smith hits him away. Wide of uh, Murli Dharan. This has been the big disappointment as far as the Sri Lankan bowling attack is concerned. The wicket playing absolutely true and uh, slow. As in that occasion you saw Smith first going forward and then coming back and making room for his stroke. That's Stuart into action. Splendid stroke through the covers. Four runs to extra cover boundary. Varnamira. Well played by Robin Smith. Intentional and a delicate late cut. Right back on his stumps and placing it into the Bacon Gully region. 
His placement has been very immaculate. And the 100 partnership coming up in splendid time in 140 minutes. Once more hit very firmly indeed. Katie Francis signal in the boundary. And he's bowled, played right across it. It was a tired looking stroke from the England opener. Batted for 440 minutes and hit 20 boundaries. That ball coming a long way. The score being made of 60 scoring strokes, having faced up to 329 deliveries. Left-handed Neil Fairbrother, the first left-hander for the Englishman, joins his captain. That went up a long way and comfortably taken. So Alex Stewart departs. Varnavira striking and striking well. Out for 64. And Hachan Tilakaratna picking up a simple catch at forward short leg. 189 minutes of batting, 120 balls faced, having hit 10 boundaries of 26 scoring strokes. Chris Lewis, the new batsman. Varnavira, the bowler. Oh, well played. Placed it well. Comfortable boundary. The fourth England batsman to get off the mark of a boundary. You can't uh, over pitch to Chris Lewis. Having made his maiden test century in India, he's quite uh, familiar with the spin as he came forward and middled it well clearing the infield on that occasion. Splendid crowd and they are really enjoying this uh, game out here. Fair brother. Well played, that's his first boundary. Murli Dharan to Lewis. Back cuts firmly. Jasuriya gives chase. It will be a long one for him, but he's quick. Won't get to it. And that's the lunchtime score. 98 runs coming in the first session of uh, 26 overs. Murlidharan easily the most impressive of the bowlers. Here he is, to fair brother. <laughs> Quickly onto the back foot. That was a loose delivery. And England will be looking to accelerate the rate of scoring. Who bowled him? Played right across it, a bad stroke, and Varnavira is delighted. Fair brother, batted for 66 minutes, faced up to 37 deliveries, hit two boundaries, and made his runs of 10 scoring strokes. He cannot believe it, well bowled. Certainly a much better crowd, as Embury takes guard, the only player in the England team that played in the inaugural test. Flowing stroke there from Chris Lewis. Nobody would get anywhere near it. A delicate touch once more. It's Jatsuria giving chase. He may reach it. This is where it all happened for Lewis to depart. Hesitant there and the throw comes into the bowler and Lewis is run out. That was Pretty unnecessary on the part of Lewis to have stayed there as we watch it. Delicately placed it. Always three runs in it as there was a long chase for Jasuria. Embury saw the possibility of a third, but Lewis was not interested. In the end, he had to hurry, but paid the penalty. Good throw coming to Ashley De Silva. Kept his cool, picked it up. He had his gloves off already and then just lobbed it to Murlidharan. He was eagerly waiting for it, and boy, he was delighted. Out for 22, Chris Lewis. Paul Jack. Out, LBW of uh, Varnavira. He picks up his third wicket. The first uh, England batsman to be out, and of the first delivery he faced.
Well ball. Murli the run to Tufnell. Came a long way, loud appeal. And now by Francis rules him out. So eight wickets down. Tufnell the batsman out. The ball spun a long way. Here's Devon Malcolm. Oh, loud appeal, but this time gets the benefit of doubt from the umpire. Once more, the ball coming in a long way from outside off stump. A good stroke. More akin to a ball swipe. Over long on, that went a long way for Devon Malcolm. Opens the scoring with a six. Varnavira to Malcolm. Oh, played up his He's going to be out caught. Yes, Gurusinghe completes the catch. And that was when England were all out for 559. Spooning it up. And as he hit it with one hand, Gurusinghe right under it. 70 minutes after lunch. All out in 130.1 overs. 559 minutes of batting. Losing their last five wickets for just 22 runs. And Muralidharan and Varnavira are doing the damage with four wickets apiece. And Ramanayaka chipping in with one. So Sri Lanka started off uh, needing to be there till T. And Jam is bowling to Hathru Singha. So the English bowlers uh, being able to get some lift off this almost very docile wicket. Here's Devon Malcolm. Over pitching to Roshan Mahanama and he does the rest. And if you know Roshan Mahanama, he's very strong in that area. Malcolm to Mahanama once more. That's a good delivery. So Malcolm's turn to get some lift off this wicket. And if you can bend your back, there is assistance. Oh, well played. Played it very fine indeed. Jarvis has no chance of cutting that one. The crowd really coming out and enjoying the sun. Hathur Singh driving Jarvis as he heard the call probably. Drew mid on. The quick outfield really doing the rest. Jarvis over pitching to Mahanama on the leg side. And uh, it will be Gatting's win effort to, to cut that boundary through mid wicket. Wide of Robin Smith and that big gap on the leg side. Loud appeal indeed. But uh, umpire not impressed. Jarvis to Mahanama. Oh, well played. Over pitched on the off stump this time. Mahanama is batting so well. That's his sixth boundary. Chris Lewis, the first bowling change. Mahanama edges it, but wide of Atherton at third slip. A pretty lucky boundary there for the batsman. An outside edge, short of Atherton, and he probably may have stopped that boundary. Crowd improved. Coming out of his crease, that's another glorious stroke by the Sri Lankan opener. He's enjoying a wonderful run in test wicket. Tufnell over pitching slightly, but more important, Mahanama got to the pitch of that ball. Sri Lanka's 50 coming up uh, in 90 minutes of batting. Oh, well struck by Hathru Singh this time. That's his third boundary. Very much in position and hitting it with the meat of the bat. Fair brother having no chance of cutting that one away. So Sri Lanka progressing attractively. No ball called, but uh, more important, uh, Mahanama's strong area there. You cannot bowl up to the pads for Mahanama to get into the strike. On that occasion, he came up and then 
met the ball on the half volley. Timing it well. Rohatru Singha in control as he played that stroke of Lewis, dropping short once more. He's been quite unimpressive considering his reputation. Tufnan. Mahanam drives. He's making the mistake of bowling on the onside to Roshan Mahanama. Malcolm won't get to that one. That's the ninth boundary for Roshan Mahanama. He's batting extremely well. Well played once more. He's really enjoying a wonderful evening here. Half century coming up. 90 minutes of batting, 72 balls faced, and of 19 scoring strokes. His sixth test half century. So it's a much more familiar Mahanama now. No ball. Heard the call early. No danger in lofting that one to long on. Came up and... Anyway, he was up to the pitch of that ball. And here's Embury to Mahanama. Once more. Well played. That's his 12th boundary. No stopping that one back to the point. Not all that short, but Mahanama going back and making room on the offside. Quite a familiar sight in the evening for the spectators. Oh, he didn't get to that one, and Smith holds the catch. 99 for one, Sri Lanka. Mahanama out for 64. Batted for 103 minutes, faced up to 81 deliveries, and See, Robin Smith had not moved, although Mahanam had come a long way down the pitch. 24 scoring strokes, hit 12 boundaries. New batsman in is Guru Singha on his home ground. Oh, well played. Got off the mark with the boundary, as did Mahanama. Went right back on his stumps, and a bit of a mix-up there between the two England fielders, Fair Brother and Jarvis, as it uh, went right through them. Tufnell to Hathrusinga, swept it well. Long chase there for Devon Malcolm, but he won't get to it. In control and rolling his wrists over. Helping that ball into the fine leg boundary. Embury bowls to Gursinga on driving firmly. That's his second boundary. Coming round the wicket to the left hander, bowling from the edge of the crease and flighting it on the leg stump. Inviting Gursinga to drive on the onside, and that's exactly what he did. The Sri Lankan 100 up in 109 minutes. They're right across the line. That's uh, Graham Hick bowling. He was justified in making the appeal. Hathur Singha. Over the head of Tufnell, that was not very far away from the fielder. And <coughs> Hathur Singha coming down the track a long way, lofting it over, and if uh, Hick was there and not Tufnell, probably it may have been a different story. Nevertheless, a good boundary for Hathur Singha. Oh, once more, hitting it well. This time he made no mistake. Too long off. 
not afraid to come out of uh, his crease. Hathru Singh are growing in confidence. He has hit 10 boundaries so far. Here's Tafnal. Neatly turned off, and that's his half century. Chandika Hathru Singh makes his fifth test half century. He's delighted. Coming up in 156 minutes of batting of 107 deliveries of 23 scoring strokes. The crowd really loves this. With that, stumps are drawn for the day. And Sri Lanka would have been very happy with their performance with the bat and ball on the field. 127 runs being added of 31 overs. In the end, it turned out to be a very profitable way for Sri Lanka after England had progressed up to 343 for five at lunch and then uh, Sri Lanka fighting back well to capture five wickets for just 22 runs and then the openers batting aggressively and positively averaging almost four and over before Roshan Mahanama went on to complete uh, another fine half century and continuing his good run in test cricket before he was out and then thereafter Hathru Singh taking over completing his fifth half century and also batting in the same fashion. So the situation is that on the third day this morning, England will have to contain the Sri Lankan batsmen. Plenty of batting to come with Arvinda, Arjuna and the rest. Hashan Tilakaratna also in together with Jayasurya. The England spinners not getting the desired turn and the Sri Lankan batsmen showing a liking to come out of their crease. It has been quite good. It is going to be even better tomorrow. Thank you very much for joining us.